Jesus is alive. We are here. How many believe that Jesus is alive? Yes. He is the reason for the season. He is the reason why we are here today to celebrate his life. And he lives within each and every one of us. And as we are alive, it is proof that he is living. Christ is living within us. With every hand lifted. Every hand lifted in this house. Come on, just lift one hand. I know we got two, so just half meet me halfway. Just lift one hand. Tell your neighbor, hey, hey, just lift a hand. Come on. Say, I'm ready to receive the true gift of hope. And his name is Jesus. Come on, how many of you in this house are excited to receive that gift of Jesus? Come on, receive it wholeheartedly. Come on. I'd like to ask everybody right now to have a seat. Children, have a seat. We're just going to make a small way in between here, if we can, just a, an open space in the middle. And uh, place your eyes on the screen as we go ahead and begin. So, this is what you want me to tell them, the people. Your people who have lived in dark exile all these many years with their, their backs up against some Babylonian wall. It was one thing when you had me tell the king that a, a virgin would give birth. Isaiah. Isaiah. Where are you? Go back to sleep, my dear. I'm talking to God. Is he listening? Uh, what do you mean, is he listening? Well, are you listening to him? You see what I mean, Lord? Even my own wife questions me. Now, you are God Almighty. You do what you want to do. But you want me to tell the people that Messiah is going to be just uh, some plain fellow like one of us? Uh, that he's going to suffer? He's going to die? Why not Moses uh, to lead us out of exile? Or, uh, or King David, uh, the mighty warrior, not some tiny li little... Ah, uh, where is the oil for the lamp? It's where it always is. Uh, ah, this is what I'm talking about, Lord. We are a people in darkness, stumbling around, stubbing our toe on the sin of the world. Uh, we need a mighty rescuer. Uh, we need, uh, we need a savior, not some tiny little. Huh. Such a tiny flame. And the whole room is filled with light. I am a man of unclean lips. Forgive me, Lord. I will tell them what you have shown me, even if I don't understand it. I will trust you, good Lord, in your own good time to, to bring us uh, Emmanuel to bring us light and hope. Yeah. Light and hope. I'm coming back to bed.
It's okay. You can come in. He won't bite. He's just a small baby. A little shy? <laughs> well, that's okay. I am too. Your friends left in such a rush to go tell the world. I think that's how they put it. And what a thing to tell. Did you know an angel visited me too? It's true. And he said that my boy would be great. The son of God. He said that he would be the king of angels. The king of all. Do you think that they'll understand? Do you think that they'll come to worship him? Will they accept him? Let's just look around us. It's not exactly a palace, is it? Noisy animals. Hey, out of all things for a bed. And that stench for everything that he is. Maybe this isn't enough. I find myself just watching. Adorn him. I thought I knew what love was. Until he came along. My mother gave this blanket to me when I was just a little girl. A gift of love. I wore it out. When we were preparing for the trip to Bethlehem, I told Joseph I wanted to bring it. No, he said. We must pack light. I brought it anyway. The baby needs a blanket. Yes, they will come. The faithful. How could they not? He was born the king of angels. He will be great and mighty. He is all this and more. But when you go tell my young friend, be sure, be sure to tell them that he is an incredible gift of love.
King above all. 